This is a continuation of part one of the understanding of backlight circuit series. In this part, we are going to look at how to identify backlight circuit on a motherboard of a smartphone through eyes identification numbers. So this is the actually the most perfect way of understanding the backlight circuit. You know, every every backlight circuit has got a control eyes which sets up the, I mean, pulse width modulation that turns on and off the MOSFETs in order to generate that high voltage that goes to the LED circuit. So all those ICs on the backlight circuit have got identification numbers. And if you are keen enough, you can identify those ICs through their numbers. You get the data sheet and you can easily be able to diagnose and fix any backlight circuit on any devices. So if you are interested in watching the first part, I will leave the link in the description below and I will put another link on the screen here so that you can actually be able to follow up as we go on on this series. The fifth method or technique you can use when you're identifying backlight circuit on a motherboard is by coils. As you know the fundamentals of a boost circuit, a coil helps a lot to amplify or to boost the current. Since backlight circuits use a lot of current, they always have a coil. This happens in all kinds of devices, including iPhones, Samsung, laptops, and all LED devices. Here on my motherboards, if, some, if there's something you have that you have been noticing, on every backlight circuit, there is this big component. And that big component is the coil. On this taking a while too, we see, still see the coil. On this phone, this motherboard, the K7, we still see the coil. Other K9 motherboard, we still see the coil. So this coil is one of the greatest way you can identify where to start from when you are looking for backlight circuit. Look onto the motherboard and trace for these big coils. Probably on the power section, there are more than one. And that's why you see on this power eyes, they are two. On this other Y2 motherboard, some of them are white, but these are for the power section. The same applies to this one, where you still see that however much the power eyes is integrated in this SPD eyes, we still see these coils. And notice this, whenever you see a coil that is cracked like this, some of them don't function to their maximum can be a result of any friction or any damage or any fall but if you find such a coil at some point you always have to replace them so if you are looking for backlight search on the motherboard you should always trace for such big components but you should know how to identify and differentiate every coil you see on the motherboard not any coil that you see on the motherboard is for backlight but you can use this former methods we have di discussed about and identify them this is a k7 and you can still see that you have big inductors but they differ from the ones that are on the backlight circuit the sixth and the last method for identifying backlight circuit on smartphone is by identifying and reading component identification numbers when i talk about component identification numbers i am meaning these small numbers you saw on different ICs on the, on the motherboard like this one you can see we have mediatek we have enix which stands for the memory and mediatek stands for the processor and the same thing applies on all backlight ICs this kind of method sometimes requires magnifying tools like a magnifying glass, a, mag a microscope, or you can even use an HD camera to zoom and be able to identify these numbers. Every backlight search control eyes has got an identification number. You can see from here, this is for Techno Y2, there is that small number. I'm going to give you a clear pic, a clear footage using my digital microscope. So if you are confused at some point and you want to know what kind of function a certain component is doing, you can check these identification numbers and you can head straight to Google and type in these identification numbers. For ICE identification numbers, I'm going to demonstrate to you, I have here a Tecno Common 7, I mean Tecno K7. We are going to use a microscope. I have a digital microscope here. This is the one I use. It's actually not so expensive and it can help you out to magnify some few things. I will do a review video on that microscope in case anyone is interested. 
So let's head straight there now to see the identification numbers here on this ice and then maybe get to know the data sheet and how we can.